Overbound here. This week I want to show you how to use Photoshop for creating level graphics. Um, specifically we're going to look at like things like grids and uh, rulers and this info panel over here. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First um, we're going to go up to the edit menu and go down to preferences. And we'll just hit general. I always click general. Um, image interpolation needs to be set to nearest neighbor. I've covered that before, but I just wanted to stress it here one last time. Um, with uh, selections and um, uh, scaling and um, and rotating uh, bitmaps, Photoshop will add anti-aliasing and transparencies to those pixels, and you don't want that. So nearest neighbor shuts that off. Uh, next, we're going to go down here to units and rulers. Um, we want to make sure rulers is set to pixels. That will ensure that on the side we get to look at pixels. Down here on guides, grids, and slices, um, we're going to look at this grid section here. And this is very important. Um, you want to set up a grid so that it works by powers of two. I choose 256 pix between 256 pixels there's one major grid line and then that's then subdivided uh, 16 times so that uh, there are 16 by 16 square uh, grid lines everywhere with a major grid line appearing uh, every 256 pixels. Video game graphics are generally made uh, by powers of 2, uh, 16, 32, 64, 128, and 256 on so up. Video game graphics are always made by that and you always want to design your graphics to work uh, at that scale. That's Those lines are where you chop your graphics uh, and your level pieces. You always work at at least 16 by 16. So with that grid, we just want to turn it on here in the view. And I'm going to go ahead and open view up and uh, check box extras here. With extras checked, you can see that the grid comes on. If it doesn't, you need to come back up here to this menu and come down here to show. Uh, make sure grid is checked. Everything in the show menu is turned on and off by the uh, extras button there. And, um, but it does also need to be checked in the show menu. So if I had grid unchecked here, it wouldn't show even with the extras on. Uh, the reason why I, I point that out is because control H is a really handy, uh, keyboard shortcut for turning on and off extras and therefore turning on and off your grid. Let's zoom in close and look at this grid. As I said earlier, all video game graphics are made by powers of two. That means if I come in here and select one of these squares, there's 16 by 16. Four of them is 32 by 32. 16 of them is 64 by 64. So on up. I also want you to notice over here in this menu on the left or on the right, uh, you get a height and width and pixels. If you don't, you need to come up to this menu and go to panel options. And from here, your your ruler units can be changed. Set it to pixels. Hit OK. Now my the size of my selection box, or what I currently am dragging around, is listed up here, 32 by 32. You always need to keep track of those numbers, so that's a handy panel to do it in. As with any panel, you can get to, uh, you can open them up from this Windows menu. Uh, the info panel is right here. You can see it has a check by it because it's open. You can uncheck it to turn it off and 
and check it to turn it back on. Sort of outside the scope of this video, but um, these little color picker looking things here uh, just display the color of what you're currently hovering over and you can choose how you want that color to display RGB, hue saturation, those are probably the two you'd want to mess with. So that's what I have set up here, RGB, hue, saturation, brightness. Your X and Y coordinates of your mouse are listed over here. In the top left corner is 0, 0x, zero 0y, zero and then as you move down, your values increase all the way to the bottom. Y is vertical, X is horizontal. I assume most people know that, but just in case. Um, when working with pixels, it's very important to keep all these measurements in mind. So uh, work on powers of two, make your graphical patterns fit into 16 pixels or 32 pixels or so on up. Just make sure it's the power of two. This grid snaps up here back in the view menu. There's a snap option. It has a submenu under it called snap to. It decides what things will snap to. Uh, the grid is what is what we're is very important to us, but guides are also helpful. So make sure your snap is on and uh, grids are on and guides. If you make a selection and you hold down control and you move that selection it'll move the shape with it or the the underlying bitmap um, if you then let go of control right now I'm still holding it but if you let go it'll start snapping to the grid when you hold control it doesn't snap that's helpful because as, as I've said you want to lay out your graphics by on a 16 uh, by 16 grid scale and and so that helps you line up you can turn off the grid another way by just or you can stop snapping when grid uh, shuts off so if I hit control H to turn off the grid and I make a selection gotta still hold control at least to drag the selection out and then let go there's no snapping even without control held down. When you're pressing control, what you're doing is temporarily switching to the tool above the marquee tool. It's the move tool. It moves the entire layer if you don't have a selection. If you have a selection, I'm going to turn my grid back on by pressing control H. And you if you have a selection and you hold and you move with the move tool, it'll only move that selection. I usually use, have my marquee tool selected and then just hold control down when I want to temporarily switch to the move tool. That way I can move around graphics very quickly. Space will move your screen around too, holding space and dragging with the mouse. So you can move graphics around, navigate with the mouse, hold control, move around, position your graphic. and then make another selection. If you want to make a duplicate, you can hold Control and Alt and drag with the marquee tool selected. This changes you to the move tool and the duplicate. Then you can pull a selection out and you can pull out as many as you need. That's all I'm going to cover this week. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Um, in the next couple of weeks, we'll really be getting into some more interesting topics, uh, actually drawing graphics and creating new graphics rather than just looking at tools. So stick with the series. Um, thank you for all the support. Uh, overbound out.